Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And boy has it been a crazy week. Um, we had our 20,000 celebration over on our budget keeps and it was gangbusters. Uh, it was a lot of work and uh, I still got a couple of prizes to, um, I'm just having to gather all the information from winners, get them to the vendors, back and forth. It's, it's been a lot of work, um, not complaining. I'm, it was such a joy to be able to, you know, be a part of sharing all these, uh, wonderful products, uh, with, you know, gifts with people that were, I mean, for the most part, extremely happy. And you could, you could feel the joy come across the, the screen, you know, just typing with them, but it was a lot of fun. It did get a little crazy. I, like I said, I, it was a little bit more work than I anticipated, but when I first thought of doing this, I, I was honestly just going to just, I would have been happy if we would have found three vendors and just done one day of giveaways, but, um, I just had vendors keep reaching out to me interested and the next thing you know, the list grew very, very long, but anyway, um, what a geek, what geek, I don't, I don't know why I want to say what a geek, that's what I want to call myself, what geek, um, which is a shop, it's an international shop that has a lot, well, big selection, big selection of keyboards, um, keycaps, switches, um, they were also a part of the uh, giveaway, um, and I forgot if they have four or five prizes, it, it, at one point I think we had just shy of a hundred prizes, and I think we actually ended up giving out more because we didn't count, Drop did their own, um, Kinetic Labs did their own, a couple of the vendors did their own, so we didn't count that in, the, in our list, and Drop drop really they brought a lot of cool prizes uh and so thanks to everybody who participated congratulations to everybody who won something i we will be making a post once we've gotten all winners in contact with the vendors and prizes in hand or prizes at least on their way and we'll make a list of congratulating everybody on a post on our budget keeps anyway putting that aside uh what geek uh, i believe i had yeah, they had sent me one of the DOIO macro pads a, a while back last year. And um, when we were talking about the giveaway, I was like, I'd like to, you know, because you guys got a lot, large selection of keyboards that, you know, they're not available on Amazon or available as easy uh, in the States than they are overseas. And, and they're like, yeah, sure. Is there any brand that you're interested in? I'm like, that Mars key, but with the X instead of an A. Uh, I've seen it around. It seems to be popular. I like the design. I haven't had a chance to, to try it out. So they're like, all right, how about we send you one out? And they sent me out the Mars key. I read somewhere that that's, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Because before I was doing Mixer's key. I didn't know. I, but the X is supposed to be a replacement for the A, Mars key. So, so this is the Mars key. Um, CK650, 65% uh, 67 key. Um, I believe it's in a, yeah, it's like a gray silver color. Uh, but when they were, you know, when we were setting this up, they were like, do you need switches and keycaps? I'm like, well, I mean, I've got switches and keycaps, but, you know, if you guys have some stuff that I could use that I also haven't seen before, and they're like, yeah, sure. Now, I had um, previously, I have, I want to say one or two keyboards that I've, um, gotten for review came with Leo uh, Leo Bog switches and they're actually really nice and I thought I had one around here but I don't see it um, but it's a linear switch and I believe it's a newer manufacturer but I don't know I haven't looked up looked into them enough but um it's a if I can remember the name of it it's like snow snow forest or something gray forest anyway it's a really nice linear uh that does come factory lube but an actual decent uh, factory lube I and mean, there's no ping to it and um and i've liked it but uh, the, the same it's the same switch i've encountered on two different boards the linear that's really it's light i can work with light but i prefer something in a medium way so I was like, well, I didn't know Leo Bog had, because they do have a selection of Leo Bog on whatgeek.com, whatgeek, 
Bob.com. And I was like, oh, Leo Bob has a, um, a tactile. And... All right, it's got the tiniest amount of leaf ping, but other than that, on initial press, I like it. It, it is light, I would guess about, oh, I probably don't have to guess. Um, yeah, for, I was gonna say 45, so 49 grams of force. Um, let me see, 3.6 travel, so that means that it has, uh, it is a long stem, and 45, oh, wait a minute. Yes. 49 gra grams force minimum, 45. Okay, so it is a 45 plus minus. All right, so pretty good guess. I, I've i gotten pretty good at guessing spring weights. Not that that'll be coming handy at any time. But so this is the Leo Bog, Leo Bog Ice Soul Switch, uh, which is also uh, listed on What Geek. That's a... You can definitely see that it's a long stun pull. Anytime a switch lifts, when a switch lifts total travel and it's below four millimeters, it has a long pull stem. So, yeah, that's a slightest leaf ping, but I can barely hear it. But I like it. I like it. All right. And also, they were like, what about keycaps? I was like, you know what? I've seen that Fecker keycap set around, or Fecker keycap sets. They've got a few of them. And because I've never bought a, a pre-built Fecker, and I have not seen them on Amazon, I was like, let me try out one of those Fecker, I think they're CSA or MSA, you know, keycaps. So they said, hold on, this as well. And this is gonna be the build that we put together. So take, take a look at these keycaps here. Yeah, I think this is MSA. So this is three trays. You have double shot. I want to say it's PBT. It does not feel like ABS, though I could be wrong. I'll look that up. All right, nicely double shot all the way through the body. And Ooh, 1.9 millimeters. That's some of the thickest caps I've uh, had the chance to to have. <laughs> That's about the thickest set of caps I've measured yet. 1.9 millimeters. Now, this is going to bring the thock. I'm going to guess. Um, now, what is the name of this colorway? I think it might be Shoko. It has names on it, but it doesn't have anything marked. Uh, yeah, Shoko. Shoko 226 PBT. CSA. All right, so this is the CSA profile. So CSA is a little bit, uh, it, it's sculpted the same as SA, but it's not quite as tall. It's uh, closer to a cherry height, maybe closer, but not quite, or somewhere in between SA and cherry. The, I mean, I like how these keep, keep they, they're not like rough and they're not super smooth. They're just, just the right. Uh, I like them. I, I, I've enjoyed Fecker keyboards. I like Fecker switches. I'm not surprised that I'm going to like uh, Fecker um, keycaps. So, and I, I know some of the other moderators on Budget Cubes have bought Fecker keycaps and they like them. So, and this is a nice selection, 226 keys. Um, I believe they do list this for, um, oh, I, I don't recall, I don't want to say the wrong price. I'll put all of that in the technical section. Um, but we've got a nice selection of extra keys. I mean, we've got two different ISO enters. Um, we definitely have keys for just about every row of profile. We don't have, uh, there's no split space bars, so this isn't going to work on an Alice. But other than that, it looks like to me, it has a fairly um, decent selection that would allow to fill up most, most from 60 to you know full size. Uh, now taking a look here, 
I've only seen this one time before, and that was on key crown keycaps. I can't say I like that. Huh. Uh, is that only on this caps lock key here? Yeah, all right. Well, let's hope that that weird weirdness doesn't exist on other keys. Anyway, this one I I may just take and do the cap caps lock caps lock the stepped caps lock mod that where I just basically shift that over. So, all right. Well, this is um this is nice. I still kind of still just kind of like what 1.9 millimeter thickness for keycaps. Wow. All right, so let's stop putzing around and let's start building the keyboard. All right, so let's go ahead and tear in here. Tear into this and open it up. So we've got a nice, all right, this looks like a builder's guide. And it is in Chinese. Yep. All right, so this is probably one of those keyboards that really isn't meant to be sold um, anywhere but China. If, if that's what I'm gathering, or they just didn't prepare for other markets. I set the keyboard aside, just finish taking a look at what we got in the box. All right, so we've got an Allen wrench for opening it up. We won't be doing that today. I'm gonna to be doing everything stock, but um, I will come back to it. It will be added to my queue, of, my long queue. I know, it's a long queue of keyboards I need to modify. So um, it is, I believe it's an aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum, so it probably just doesn't have a spot to fit a pocket for that. We have a standard USB-A to USB-C cable, rubberized, and we have a keycap puller. And here we are with the Mars K 6K650, 65% with a knob. Um, wow, I, I must say, off the bat, I'm quite impressed. Not only is it solid, which you'd expect from an aluminum kit, but it, it feels more premium. I mean, maybe it's the curves, these lines that it has on it, the way that the feet are set up. I mean, I don't know. I I gotta say, I I like it. It. <laughs> uh, some might laugh at this, but this is to me. I almost feel like I'm holding an aluminum uh, LK67. Uh, <laughs> that's always that was one of my favorites from the get-go um, I have quite a few of those and I've built over a dozen for friends and family um, and this is that's what this reminds me of it's basically actually I know I don't have one here I'm gonna go grab one I just want to see how much um, how they differ and how they're similar all right so yeah I'm not imagining this there are obviously a lot of similarities. And then we've got the uh, indicator lights here. Obviously, there's one extra. Um, the knob is basically in the same position. I mean, obviously, the spacing is not the same. But, yeah, even the keys. I should be able to just take all of this, mount it on there. I've had a lot of these, and I've played with a lot of them. I know them inside and out. Um, knock on wood, I never broke the, the mode switch. It's funny because I, uh, I didn't want to open it up because I knew that at that time there were so many videos oh i broke my mode switch i was like i know i'll end up breaking it but then i saw one guy it's funny because this keyboard actually is a big part of why i started doing keyboard videos um i saw a guy make a video and he had a camera angle that was like up over here you know down but it, it was just a weird angle sideways and he was kind of halfway covering up showing how he opened it up but i was at least able to get the gist and that was one of the first videos that i made was my own version of how to you know open it up and you know how to open the because the, even myself and many other people were just opening up in the wrong um in the wrong way basically the you have to remove the shroud first before you unscrew the um the plate uh, that's the biggest difference and because if you try to pull it up you know, when they screw in the plate, then it's going to bring everything and break the little tab off the switch. And 
there you go. I mean, you could still set it with a pin or something, but it becomes inconvenient. So I made a video. I don't think it was with this unit. I have so many of these. Uh, showing how to open it up. Yeah, this one's nicely modded. Um, I've got silicone port in here. P foam, I believe. But anyway, not that I wanted to go into a whole thing about this keyboard, but this is definitely, I mean, I have a lot of keyboards I like now that are obviously much better. And yeah, there's obviously better boards than this one at the price range. I mean, the GMK67 is, you know, on paper, uh, a better board than this one. But I, it just has a place in my heart. Um, this one, I have, like I said, the silicone pour. I have... Um, I replaced, I actually found a PC plate for it, replaced it out with the steel plate. And um, I was going to say, how old is this? I don't remember, but you know how uh, those your clear cell phone cases will discolor after about a year? Now, it's definitely a couple of years there, uh, the discoloration. And it doesn't get much light down here, so. <laughs> but, um, oh, it's got Aqua White's stock. And uh, this is an SA. Retro essay from um, KP Republic. It appears the uh, Mars key also has the same LED window on the side. Obviously, it doesn't have this part, but I gotta say that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let me see. We have any battery charge in here? Ah. All right. The RGB is is decent. It can be seen. Um, I dealt with the keyboard the other day, the RGB, I mean, I turned all the lights pretty much off and still you could barely even tell. The entire point of, um, my diatribe about the LK67 basically was that I always was like, I want this, but in an aluminum kit. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's similar ones out there, but I've never found one that was similar. But this one, like I said, I didn't even know that it had the lights on the side. Um, I definitely love that almost steampunkish kind of look that like a handle like almost looks like where batteries would go in on some device i don't know it's just um i like it it's got a uh, flex cuts on this pc plate it does have what looks to be an ipxc um, foam pad above the pcb and it looks like it's got pour on between the plate and the pcb and oh you got a dense rubber foam down there um on in the inside so I hear absolutely no ping. So it looks like we got eight screws holding it together. Like I said, I'm not gonna open it today. I just wanna go at the stock. So once I open, I'm gonna wanna mod it. Um, unless it's just too good and doesn't need modding. <laughs> All right, so let's check out these stabilizers real quick. They are plate mounted, but they're nicely plate mounted and they do have lubrication. They are not drowning in lubrication. They move freely there we can see the cable perhaps for that or for the battery peeking out nice free moving action and yeah they they're well attached to the plate i'm curious to see if i can now I pull some smaller ones up let's check to see if they have all right there is no possibility for screw and stabilizers so that answers that question. Right, we got it out. Uh, just the lightest amount of lubrication. Nothing too crazy. But we'll see if they need more once we uh, load them up. All right. So yeah, the only difference is, and I mean, obviously, I have no complaints. Is well, obviously, besides a different PCB and everything else, is the south facing opposed to north facing with that one. But, um, and the knob, I mean, let's see if it comes off, yeah. Oh, that, that is probably one of the nicest crafted knobs I've seen yet. It has a spiral pattern, almost like a, um, like the grooves on a record, a vinyl, and a lovely insert. Instead of it being part plastic, it just has a, a soft rubber insert in there to fit the D-shaped knob, but this is, um, 
it feels nice in the hand. It's firm yet solid. Um, I mean, solid, firm, yet, you know, it's not pushing back too much. But it just feels nice in the hand. I like, like those little grooves. So far, I am digging everything I see about this keyboard. Um, let's go ahead. I mean, it's not going to be opening up. I guess I'll just go ahead and start. I'll load it up with the Leo Bog ISIL switch. Tack top. And with the Fecker CSA Shoko keycaps. So uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Let's get technical. Today we are building a keyboard with the following components. Starting with the keyboard. The keyboard is a Mars Key CK650 3 mode CNC aluminum alloy 65% keyboard with a knob. It comes well dampened with 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatibility as well as south facing RGB. The metallic knob on this keyboard is well crafted and it also includes some interesting lines in the design of the case. It also has clip-in plate mounted stabilizers with no ability for screwing. It includes a side glow LED and an 8000 mAh battery. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $208.99 on whatgeek.com. It comes weighing in at 1108 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 27 millimeters above the surface while the bat sits at 36 and a half millimeters, providing for a singular typing angle of eight degrees. For switches, we will be using the Leobog iSoul tactile switches. They are made out of a palm stem with PC housing. They have an actuation force of 30 grams with a bottom out force of 45. The total travel is 3.6 millimeters. They sell on whatgeek.com for $25.99 for a jar of 70 switches. As far as for the keycaps, we will be using Fecker's PBT CSA Double Shot 226 keycap set for the Soko colorway. These keycaps are some of the thickest I've ever measured at 1.9 millimeter bodies. They also sell on whatgeek.com for $37.99. And here we are with the Mars Key 6K 650, loaded up with the Leo Bog ISOL switches, tactile. And this, uh, I really, really like this Fecker keycap set. Um, it's really nice. Oh, that just, uh, I was not aware those were magnetic. So there is two typing angles. Well, look at there. Oh, Nancy. I was not aware those were magnetic feet, so I guess there are two typing angles. Um, so yeah, I've got to say, this is just, I really hate to keep bringing it up, but this is basically like, if you ever wanted a CNC'd LK67, well, this is it. I mean, the dimensions are almost the same, at least the position of the keys. It's, um, yeah. I'm curious to see if this can be programmed. I'll have to take a look at the software. But I have got to say, this is a, it's just a, it's a lovely looking kit. Um, I guess the designs of these are supposed to be like ancient scrolls. And you know, like you pull it out and this is your scroll. I, I like it. I just, I dig it. I, I kind of knew I would like this keyboard. and uh, Gotta trust your gut sometimes, huh? All right, so, all right, my video didn't freeze up. Um, volume and mute work. It's charging. Huh, it's gasket mounted. It's got uh, flex cuts in the PC, PC plate, but 
the feet, these, uh, these feet actually have a little bit of give, so the case actually has a gasket type with the feet. That's um, it's kind of interesting, I gotta say. Uh, because of the PC plate, we do have some of the light that shines through on the edges, and it, it looks really nice. You could, um, was it function P? There we go. Yeah. And uh, I gotta say, those are, those are decent switches, I think. <clears throat> I think this is going to be up there with the um, M1 as far as being, uh, you know, almost ready to go or basically ready to go CNC kit or bare bone kit out of the box um, stock. Because, I mean, I can't say that I hear any ping at all whatsoever coming from this, from the case. So they, I guess they have a force break mod. I'll have to open it up and take a look at it. But... For a stock keyboard with like I said we were just like I was like well I haven't tried those and I haven't tried that so I was basically just picking stuff I hadn't tried it wasn't like I was going well I know those switches sound good and I know that key cap no I just picked them I mean I'm a big fan of grays with blues because it reminds me of like an overcast day at the beach um, so and that's what this does I mean I know Shoko is supposed to be marine like I believe but um I know this keyboard, they have uh, different colorways, white, purple, black, I believe. I, I'd have to look. A uh, pink, I think, is one of them as well. But I must say, I do like this. Um, it's not quite like a gunmetal. It's like a gun silver. I mean, they call it gray, but it's definitely more silver. I really like it. I love uh, this knob, the machining of it. It just... Uh, feels nice those tiny little grooves you know our fingers can actually feel like the difference between i think was it 20 nanometers i'm like what i didn't know our fingers were that sensitive anyway that must be why we love our keyboards <laughs> so anyway i am i gotta say off the bat i for being a stock cnc i mean i've been seeing more stock off the shelf uh, plastic keyboards that are you know, sounding really good off the bat. I mean, definitely much better than it was in the last few years. But most of the time, and I mean, I've kind of gotten used to it um, on aluminum, fully aluminum kits. Because I mean, I will say the Halo, um, even though it is half aluminum, half uh, ABS, it it does. It's ready to go out of the box. It sounds amazing. But it's not a fully CNC. But a fully CNC. Um, keyboard most of the times or at least in my experience I have had to go in there and apply a force break mod because if not then anytime you hit the key it basically there's a reverberation between the two tops or the two halves of the uh, CNC case you know tapping on each other and creating uh, a nice ding that would reverberate all inside the case now this has uh, plenty of dampening um, and uh, I think I, I feel like I'm going to find some sort of force break mod in there when I open her up. But this is, for right now, I mean, after I'm done with this, it's going as my daily driver right now. Because, again, this is, to me, because I don't know how many times I was like, man, if I could get an LK67 CNC aluminum, and this is, yeah, it's different, but it's also very similar. I mean, the side RGBs, um, the profiles even, I mean, the, the typing angle is even similar. So I've got to say, I really, I'm, I'm glad I picked up this kit. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I'm glad that What Geek gave me a chance to take a look at this keyboard. Um, sometimes, you know, key, I see keyboards, I'm like, yeah, that might be a good one. Give it a shot. And I'm like, mm, no. I try not to set my expectations too high. Unless it's with a com it's a board from a company that I'm, you know, been receiving on a regular basis, good, you know, well built product from them. So, but when it's something, you know, from somebody I'm not accustomed to, I try not to set my expectations too high. I don't read up too much about it so that I can kind of be surprised. And that to me worked perfectly in this situation because now I have a keyboard that looks lovely and it fills a 
like I said, it's a silly dream, but I was like, oh, LK67, CNC, ooh, that'd be so nice. I haven't thought about that in some time, but that just kind of brought back the brush of memories. Anyway, um, it definitely sounds much better than LK67 stock, I'll tell you that, uh, despite their numerous revisions. So, um, yeah, so again, a thanks to What Geek for sending out all of the pieces to build this uh, keyboard. They have a huge selection um, of, I mean, everything, anything keyboards they've got, and they ship out fairly quick. I, I think this took, um, I want to say, nine or ten business days to get to me. So uh, they're fast shippers, and I have not had any customer service issues with them, um, but I've read about others that had, and they have, you know, have always been, you know, obviously when there's an issue, nobody's going to be like over the moon happy, but I've never heard anybody go, oh, I was not happy with the resolution. In the end, they get a resolution. Um, what he has a lot of clients, so sometimes I think they just take a little bit longer, even while working with them through this um, giveaway. They weren't ignoring me. It just took, you know, a little bit longer. And I can understand their mailbox is probably full. There's many orders as they're taking, but they were always honest and, and were willing to work with me for the giveaway. So I, I got to believe that their customer service is as good. Like I said, I have not seen anything negative about their customer service. Um, they do some of the stuff that they have. They do uh, have a little bit of a higher markup than, say, Taobao or AliExpress. But then again, you know, you know that you're dealing with a shop that's you know been around that's just not going to disappear off aliexpress tomorrow um and like i said they handle customer service issues so uh, uh sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more for that peace of mind and they have a selection a large selection of products that cannot be found or not easily found in well at least the states probably in europe as well i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this mars key or mxrs key CK650, 65%, 67 key with a beautiful knob, CNC aluminum with uh, side RGB lights, and until just now realized uh, detachable <laughs> metallic feet. So um, I think that, I don't think it's amazing, but I think it sounds very good for a stock keyboard, something that I mean, just put together today. But I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this vid to this keyboard and modifying at least a couple of times, changing out switches, doing the PE foam mod. Now we'll find some other stuff, see how it is in there. Um, it does have flex. It's not a crazy amount of flex, but it does have it. Um, so, I don't know. Once I get in there, we'll see uh, what else we can do and have fun with. It does have a cap. All right. So, if you guys have any any uh, thoughts or any things that you'd like to see me do when I come back to this keyboard, uh, please share them down in the comments below so that I can uh, take care of them. I do my best to answer all the comments or at least, you know, make sure to let you know that I've, I've, I've uh, read the comment. As my subscribers have grown, obviously uh, comments are starting to grow a little bit more. So sometimes it'll take me a little while before I get to it. But basically I leave it unread until I've actually had a chance to respond, or if you've, you know, posing a question, I gotta actually go dig up the keyboard, and, you know, try something. So, like I said, I do my best to help people out, um, you know, if they need, but I'd love to hear any ideas you guys might have for what I should do when I come back to visit this keyboard. If you have any questions about it, obviously, um, you know, go ahead and shoot in the comments below, or come on over to uh, Budget Keeves and ask on our question thread, or shoot me a, a, tag me on Discord, on our Discord server. And like I said, I, I, I'm not always around, but I'm around quite often. So, and if I can help, I, I enjoy doing that. So I think, uh, I hope that you enjoy the sound test of this keyboard. And as always, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.